ANC Free State officials insist the landmark 9th Provincial Conference will go ahead today. The lead up to its opening yesterday was marred by violent clashes between police and members angered over being excluded. So some delegates from several regions including Tabo Mufuzanyana and Fezile Dabi municipality demanded that conference be postponed. Tumaula Musaudi is standing by from the conference venue in Bloemfontein for the very latest this hour. What's happening, uh, Dumaule? Well, at this hour, of course, the media is still waiting to find out uh, where we stand in terms of the official start of uh, the conference. Uh, a media center has been uh, set up where we are told that uh, we will get uh, those uh, particular briefings, and we were expecting uh, to get uh, a briefing, uh, certainly an update, either from a member of uh, uh, the Interim Provincial Committee and, uh, or a member from the NEC. Now, yesterday, a briefing uh, that was uh, addressed by, uh, of course, Mr. Ngolisi Dukwa, who is the convener of uh, the provincial IPC and as well as, uh, uh, you know, uh, members of the NEC uh, were, were just basically saying, and the members of uh, the provincial team itself uh, here in uh, Mangawung uh, were saying that uh, uh, these uh, challenges are, are part and parcel of a process of renewal. That seems to be uh, the word. So renewal in a sense that um, they say that uh, this conference uh, is a landmark conference given the context of what Mangaung means for the ANC as it had celebrated its centenary and the state of uh, this particular municipality in terms of service delivery, David Mashobo went so far as uh, to say that, uh, of course, it has been difficult and there have been difficulty. But the issue now is uh, that uh, those who are opposing each other, they are opposing sides, should consider what it is they have been uh, elected as delegates to conference for, which is to serve the needs of the communities uh, that they represent, saying that the days of uh, people coming in to serve their own selfish interests are over. So this this is a, a backdrop with which uh, this uh, particular uh, conference is going to be held. And of course, we are expecting um, that uh, the national chair of uh, the ANC is uh, going to uh, basically open and uh, uh, basically open uh, the conference and uh, just uh, give uh, an, an overview, a political uh, overview. And uh, uh, just uh, uh, off shot, I see Mr. Mr. Khoban there, the, uh, you know, uh, the, the spokesperson here uh, in, in the uh, uh, um, free state in Mangaung. And Dr. Khoban, I'm just going to hijack you here. Um, Dr. Daniel, um, please let us know where you are right now. So we are, we are about to start with the conference. Yes, uh, we are about to start with the conference. Um, you can see the long queues of uh, 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 delegates coming in, and, and, and that's where we are. Um, immediately when, when, when they are in, we, we start with the conference. Um, we, we will have uh, the uh, National Executive Committee members, two of them come in to brief the media on, 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 on what has to happen now. Yeah. Who will those members be? Can you give us their identity? And and Yeah, they they'll be coming now to brief the media on what has to happen. But we are we are we are we are we are, we are starting. We are starting the conference. Yes. All right. With uh, um, the slight, if I can call it, delay, if we look at the hour, um, 11.04 is the time right now. And uh, we had anticipated at least by 9 or 10 that there would have been uh, that opening address. What, what time are you anticipating and what seems to be uh, the delay? Is it a knock-on effect from what we saw, the scenes we saw yesterday? Uh, yeah, that's, that, that's, a, that's exactly the case. You know, circumstances alter cases. So this is what we have now. Because of what happened yesterday, um, uh, you know, we have the effect is the delay uh, even today. But uh, we, are, we are about to start uh, yeah, because uh, delegates had to sleep very late, uh, some uh, early, early this morning. So, so that's why we have this delay. But uh, um, the program will be adjusted accordingly, and and and, and yeah, we will have that. Uh, we are ready for the conference. Uh, before I let you go, in terms of uh, uh, the, the protocols and uh, the procedures of conference, we do understand there will be certain closed sessions where the media might not be uh, privy to the discussions. Is this going to happen or are you going to have the whole uh, process open and uh, uh, available to the public at large? No, no the, 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 the closed session is, is, is really the closed session. It has to be there so that we look uh, um, internally into the issues of the ANC and how do you move forward and, and 
Once we have uh, concluded that and took resolutions, then we'll let you know. That's when we can then open for you and the public to know what we have decided. Thank you very much, uh, member of the uh, Interim Provincial Committee there. And uh, just to give you a sense of what is happening here, my colleague Ningim Dunge is going to show you. And uh, these are similar scenes, uh, scenes, scenes that are, uh, you know, uh, uh, symbolic, if one would use that analogy, of uh, whenever ANC conference, whether it be regional, provincial, and of course national the ANC comes into town and the regalia, party regalia comes up. Uh, the ANC is said in some circles to be a big business or so certainly uh, party faithful who are registered and uh, who are permitted to be in this precinct where I am right now uh, are bringing their ways. So this is something uh, that is, uh, of course, a due process in terms of the norms here. And uh, many of these people that I spoke to as well said that they are relieved that uh, it seems as if the ball is finally rolling. They want to see uh, the beginning of the end of what has been a very difficult time and they believe in the free state with this elective conference it would usher in a legitimate endorsed leadership for the ANC and the party will then begin to rebuild and focus on uh, regaining its credibility after suffering some very heavy gains particularly here in Mangawung uh, in previous local government elections they saying they're rebuilding and renewing the party and uh, looking forward to improved service delivery and learning from mistakes of the past the free state of course is a case in point uh, if one would look at it there are so many issues of service delivery a province so vast as this uh, having so many issues particularly water in several districts including Tabo Mofutsanyane one thinks about that including the Kharib district including of course Fezi Letabi. Some of those delegates were the same delegates who were protesting outside this particular conference venue and I call them delegates because they say that their uh, uh, you know, party credentials and bona fides are basically credible and that they were protesting or raising their grievance at how the process of vetting them was undertaken. But that seems to be water behind the bridge now and we are told that it's just the final finishing touches because the resolution from the NEC, the mother governing body of the ANC, is uh, going to uh, ensure that uh, that resolution is that this conference will go ahead. The IPC says it's been a difficult journey, a journey of renewal, some difficult decisions, and they want unity and unity with the view of renewal and service delivery. So we will await to see that opening address by Gwede Mantashe.